Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we're going to be customising the brand new Dinka Virus added today on February the 18th. <laughs> So this is a brand new quad bike that was added to GT Online today and um, it's actually free which is really nice so let's just have a look at the price of it on the store. I imagine that this price is only going to be for one week so you can see here the price is discounted to zero dollars but usually it would set you back about 200 grand so if you want to get this thing then definitely go ahead and pick it up this week whilst it is on discount. I don't know how long this discount's going to be, but I'd have to guess probably a week. So yeah, if you want to get it, get it this week. But it's basically a four-wheeled version of the uh, Strider that we got, the little three-wheeler um, sort of motorbike. Um, it's basically just like a quad version of that, but it does have some cool customization parts. So let's just hop straight into the workshop and have a look at those. So here we are in the workshop. Now before we get into the actual customization, I just want to say if you are new to the channel, then please drop a like on the video, leave us a comment and subscribe as well. We are trying to reach a thousand subscribers here, so if you want to help us out with that, be greatly appreciated. But let's hop straight into the customization. We'll go ahead and slap armor on the thing, full brakes. We've got some bull bar options, so we've got stock bull bars, which is basically just no bull bar. We can go for painted bull bars, and then we've got the black bull bars. So the painted ones are going to match the primary colour there, and then you can go for the black bull bars if you want to. Um, I'm not really sure what kind of build I want to go for on this, but I'm not overly keen on the bull bars, so I'm going to leave them off. Chassis options, we've got the stock chassis which is just going to be that rack on the back. We can go for ammo boxes and jerry can and then we can go for dual ammo boxes. Um, I guess this is supposed to be like a military quad bike but I'm going to go for like kind of a civilian build on it so not going to bother with those. We'll go for full engine upgrades, we've got some exhaust options so at the moment it just has that singular exhaust on the right hand side there um, so we can go for a dual version of that which just adds an exhaust on each side we can go for dual carbon exhausts which are actually both on one side but there is two exhausts and then we can go for the dual twin carbon exhausts which has two on each side so you've got four exhausts I'm just gonna go for the dual stock exhaust I think that looks quite nice Hood options, that's going to be the rack on the front there. So we've got the rack as standard. You can go for an axe and shovel. You can go for the carry-on bag. So these are similar to what we saw on the uh, uh, Mammoth Squaddy a couple of weeks ago. We've got the ammo boxes. We can go for an ammo box with jerry can. We've got the ammo boxes with camo net. And then we've got the ammo and weapon crates. Um, I might just go for the axe and shovel. We'll just leave it with that. Um, we're not going to bother with horn or lights. We have got some livery options. All of these are going to be the gun running liveries. So these are unlocked via research in the bunker. So you'll see that some of them are locked. If you haven't unlocked these yet, you unlock them through research in the bunker. But you've seen these all before, so I'm not going to run through those. Um, the plate options, we'll go ahead and just slap on my normal plate there, not Henry, <laughs> there we go. Uh, respray options, so we have got some primary and secondary colour, so the primary is going to change all of that portion, and the secondary I'm guessing is going to change like the mud guards and stuff, or it actually changes all the like chassis area underneath the vehicle down there. Okay, that's interesting. We'll come back to respray at the end. Saddlebag options. We've got the remove saddlebags. We can go for a backpack. We can go for dual backpacks. Or we can go for the carry-on and backpacks. I'm just going to leave that off. Because I actually quite like the uh, brake lights on this. Looks pretty nice. So 
that's yeah I want to see those we'll go for race transmission we can get a turbo on this thing and then wheel options now did the wheel options actually change with the primary color no unfortunately they don't that's a bit of a missed opportunity but there we go um, so let's just go into the off-road category and see if there's some better wheels they actually look pretty cool yeah, I think we're going to go with those, and I'm going to keep them in this sandy colour for now. We'll just go ahead and uh, change up the respray. I'll pick out a nice colour in here. Okay, I've decided to go for a matte colour again this week. A lot of quad bikes I see in real life are like matte paint, so I'm going with the matte green here. Um, I think that looks pretty nice and then I'm not really sure what we'll do with the wheels, but let's just have a look. Maybe something the maybe we'll kind of match the wheels and see how that looks i'm actually feeling the alloy today just you know like the standard wheel color i think that actually looks pretty good on this quad bike it's kind of like a stock looking quad bike but we've got some like extra shovels and stuff on there for like farm work but that's the thing fully customized um a few parts on there you can change but at the end of the day it is a quad bike so um, motorbikes and quad bikes don't usually have that many tuning parts but let's take this thing out and see how it drives okay so something I just wanted to test out just before we get on to the actual um, driving around is to see whether this thing can actually be stored in a motorcycle clubhouse and it actually can mine is full at the moment but you can actually swap out a vehicle and store this thing in your motorcycle MC clubhouse which is really nice because it is sort of the only quad bike that we really have in the game there is obviously the blazer and the blazer aqua um, but I don't really see many people driving them around I imagine not many people are going to be driving this around to be honest so what is my overall opinion on the brand new Varus well I have to say if you're looking for a good off-road customizable quad bike then this is the choice to go for. I mean, it is the only off-road customizable quad bike, but we do also have the Street Blazer, which can be customized in the MOC. Um, and that thing has a lot of awesome like street upgrades, but this is more of an off-road quad bike. So that's quite a nice thing to see. And it does have some of those army upgrades. So if you're making like an army movie and you need some quad bikes, then this is a pretty cool one to use and it's a pretty nippy vehicle you know I've been nipping around the streets on it here it's not the fastest vehicle in the game but if you need to get from point A to point B quickly then it is a very small vehicle so you can nip through traffic very easily without having to crash into vehicles now one thing I have noticed is if you crash into vehicles you can fall off it so like you do on a motorcycle if you crash too hard then you can actually fall off it so be careful of that but that's going to be my review of the thing should you buy it should you not buy it well really it's up to you do you want a quad bike if you do then it's on discount for zero dollars this week so i'd recommend picking it up and uh, even if you're not into quad bikes and you just want to give this thing a try then yeah it is free so just pick it up and try it but that's going to be my review and customization of the brand new Dinka Varus. I believe we only have one more vehicle to go. So if you want to see me customize the brand new Brioso, R, uh, the Brioso 300, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. And that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks all so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next one.